Hi guys, thanks again for visiting us at RS Aquaculture. In the past few video, we've actually asked everybody on our channel which other species should we try to explore commercially next. And we presented everybody with some choice and we did a quick poll on our YouTube channel. So this in this video, I'll be going through which is the popular option. So stay tuned. <laughs> So welcome back guys. For those that are new to RS Aquaculture, we provide a series of content with regards to crustacean farming, mainly shrimp or crab farming. So if you like to receive notification of our content, do remember to like and subscribe to our channel. So thank you for polling on our last video during December last month. And guess what? The most popular option was actually giant freshwater pond, which is the microbacchium. So here's an update on the shrimp that we have been culturing in our current extensive aquaponic system so as you can see over here is actually grown quite big and it's actually eating the sediments uh, or some of the algae that is grown on the side of the tank so for the past two months we have actually been quite busy during the festive season and also setting up our nutrient farm so as you can see even with minimal care we seem to have sort of plants that are growing in the aquaponic systems and the aquaponic system is actually not being well made very well maintained yet but as you can see even when we started off with a very small fries like this they were actually being able to grow into bigger size so our feeding hasn't been very consistent in the past because of lack of manpower but probably we'll start to devote more resources into this business since everybody loves this species to commercialize so for us we'll be actually going using our shrimp feed uh, that have already existed in our farm and this is actually a monodon feed which we commonly use in our vaname farms as well and we are actually haven't fully even planted our aquaponic system which houses the shrimps so as you can see that even with this small aquaponic system it is able to maintain the sort of feeding rate that we are putting inside the tanks so here's you know some of the reaction of the shrimps uh, to the feed as you can see they react quite aggressively to forage for food probably because they are quite hungry uh, but you can see this is the classic behavior of shrimps actually gathering all over to the to the food and you can see generally the bigger shrimps will have dominant uh, over the feed consumption and whatever we put in will actually be finished quite quick uh, generally, the male shrimps with the claws have a bit more dominant behavior as compared to the female species. So here's another clip of uh, us feeding in a different area of the tanks. So what we realize with this shrimp is actually quite territorial. Uh, they tend to stick in one area and not to travel too far out from uh, its current territory, probably because of the stocking density. Note that our tanks are not huge. It's a fiberglass tank with only one feet or one and a half feet in water depth. So it's important for you to disperse out the feed into multiple areas of the tank. So as you can see, we prevent the shrimps from overcrowding the feeding area. And do take note that Microbacchium and these freshwater shrimp species are a bit more cannibalistic as compared to Vaname and Monodon. So stocking intensity and uh, feeding regime actually is very important to ensure that uh, cannibalism is low. So I'm just here feeding on the side of the tank. So this clip at the end shows some of the leftover feed from the previous feeding. So this is after about 10 minutes of feeding. So you can see the female shrimp and the smaller shrimp. So then move the, the feed and start consuming because probably, probably they could not have done so what with the aggressive uh, shrimps around. So hopefully you like the contents of the video. We'll continue to explore the species and update everybody as we continue. So do like and subscribe and see you again at Rasako Culture.